All right, welcome back, folks, to Hobby Fist playing Geo Guesser. My name is Greg. I don't even know if I've ever actually introduced myself at all. But that's besides the point because today, for anybody who celebrates the day, it's Christmas. So, happy Christmas Day or Merry Christmas, whatever they call it. Hope you're enjoying the holiday and seeing that you took a chunk of your time out to watch me today. I do appreciate it. And again, let's see if we can't break that. 20,000 score for me. That's my Christmas gift to me. And let's see. I see a flag up here. Ooh, that's a lot of flags. American, that looks like a uh, British Columbia, maybe. And that looks to be Abnaki? Iroquois, I think, actually. I think that's Iroquois. They sell cigarettes there. I can't roll my R's. I think it's called Trilling. That's one of the reasons why, among others, that I never actually stuck out with a lot of cigarettes being sold around here. It's one of the main reasons that I could not stick with Russian, because you had to be able to roll your R's, and I couldn't do it. Is that Billy Mays? Oh, it's Billy Ray's. So they, oh, these have all the flags. This one's Canadian this time. Iroquois, that's another Native American uh, tribe. What's with the cigarettes? This feels like it's a, uh, like outside of a prohibition town or something. It's a bit weird. But let's backpedal a bit, see if we can't figure out anything here. Because we know we're at least in North America. Whether or not this is Canada or the U.S., we don't know yet. But among the other things, as I mentioned a few times with the Russian... Rolling the R's, like, it's it's kind of an integral part of the language, and if I'm not, if you're not able to do it, I'm just going to hit home and go the other way. And if you're not able to do it, that that's that's kind of a problem. Because, like, I'll try to do, I can't, like, someone sat there and tried to explain it to me, I was like, okay, yeah, I understand, but then, alright, now you do it, and then my tongue just, uh, falls apart in my mouth, and it's impossible to do. What is this? Municip, oh, this is... Soyuz Prudence, vous êtes, you are in the agriculture municipality of Quebec. And one of the other languages I had to take was French. Because living right next to the border of said province, why does it look like all these cows are eating one cow? I think... I don't want to say I know exactly where this is, but I feel like I've driven here before. As maybe a rite of passage is the wrong. Oh, that's port. Point o anglais. The point of English? Of the English? I don't know. Well, we're. I feel we're along the St. Lawrence here. Exactly where I couldn't tell you, but I'm going to click right there for now. There's a whole section when you get just across the border from, well, let's just say I'm from, whoa, different time of the year. I love these time travel things. Oh, here we go. We're on Route 34. That's west. That's east. 344. We've got this one in the bag, I believe. 343. 344. We got 50 seconds to find 344. Come on. French Canadian um, map logic, a road logic, whatever the whatever the hell it's called. How far do I have to zoom in to see these? Three eighty nine, three four four. Come on, where are you? I want to make this. Oh my God, there is a button for that. Thank baby Jesus. So, nineteen seconds. I'm gonna say we're definitely. Along the border here, exactly where I got 10 seconds, 344. 347, 343. I'm gonna say like right there. Oh, it's there, they're even closer. I'm gonna see it in the last second. I'm gonna make this smaller. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh, port. Yeah, it is totally uh the English port. Or Anglais. So I took four years of that. But it only really counted as two just because uh um, when I started in middle school, those two years counted as one. Sao Jose? 
Oh, it's a churrascaria. I love those things. If you ever get to go to a churrascaria, let me tell you, be prepared. Um, because they demand... There's, there's a whole system with those things, if you've never actually been to one before, where they have little, little things on your table that, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure they're all the same. Little things on the table. One is red, one is green. You leave green on the table, that, that's just like green light, motherfucker. You're gonna get everything we come over here with. Like, they walk around with these giant, I'm gonna hit the home button and go back the other way. Or am I gonna forget which way I actually came? I had this, this way. They come with these giant rods of meat, any kinds, chicken, pork, beef. I don't know why I thought looking at this sign was going to help me. It's just a number. I didn't watch The Lost. I hated that show. But that's another tangent. I'm going on too many tangents. Not all I want. Did this sign disappear? No, it's behind me. Anyway, so Chuhaskaria is post fiscal. That looks like this could be a thing. Uh, Leonardo Duarte Lete. Yeah, of course I know what that means. So they, they come around with food. And as long as you have that green sign on there, there is no verbal communication whatsoever. At least in the ones I've been into, you know, which can be a blessing in disguise at the same time. Because, um, I kind of get it. You just, sometimes you just want to go to a restaurant and you kind of don't want to be bothered by anybody that's, uh, like any of the waiters or anything. I mean, yeah, they're doing their job. They want, they need to make their money if they're doing all the tips. They keep changing the weather. This is magic. So the, they have it all set up where if you have green on the sign, green means go. Give me everything all the time. Don't stop. But uh, what happens with most people is they don't seem to uh, know when to hit, like pump the brakes, hit, hit, hit stop for a little bit if you need to because... All too often, what happens is you'll just end up with a plate full of meat, and you're like, I didn't want this, but you're too nice to be like, oh, no, no. And you also forget about putting that red flag up. It's not an admittance, uh, admittance of... Is it admittance? Admint... God, it's... You're not admitting defeat. You're just, I'm just putting pause. Maybe I'm going to come back for some later, because you got to make sure you leave room. I don't know how many of these Chuhaskarias do it. But if they come around with that grilled pineapple with uh, a little bit of cinnamon on there, maybe some brown sugar. Oh my god, that is that's so good. And cooked pineapple, like it's the greatest little little cap to the end of the end of the meal. Another weird thing: this is the first time I never knew this was a thing either. Cashew juice. Like you've had cashew nuts, but it's actually a fruit too, and they like squeeze the juice out of it. It's kind of weird tasting. Like you get that little bit of. The cashew flavor at the end, I don't know exactly where in Brazil where I just, I'm going to, it's anywhere in this massive country, so I'm just going to kind of hedge my bet and put it in the center. It's kind of like, uh, what's it look like? It's kind of like uh, pear juice. It's got that kind of like whitish, yellowish color to it. Uh can sometimes have a bit of a film taste to it. it it's It's okay to try for the first time just to be like, yeah, okay, I'll try this. Okay, I've had it. I don't need to have it anymore. This is just expanse of nothing. I mean, it kind of looked like a fallout village back there, but it, I, I don't don't take it as insulting you there. Maybe they're just in the middle of developing everything there. But just keep those little facts in mind if you ever happen to go to a Chuhaskaria. And let's see. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with this. Again, you know, the country is so stupidly massive. I don't know if anything I saw on the map was going to let me know that it's exactly on... The intersection of PE565 and Route 122. So I'm going to do two stars for that. Next round. This could be Florida. I don't know. But I'm going to take this little moment as I sit here and go down this road to uh, try to suss out where we are to maybe do a little bit of housekeeping as far as the channel went, at least for this week. Country Road 254. That's not helpful in any way. Now, I know for this week, uh, we kind of hit a, maybe records the Route 183. Is there a Florida Route 183? Now, why am I going over here? We've kind of hit a record for the most amount of videos we dumped out in a week. And that's kind of my fault. I'll readily admit that. Just because it was kind of a culmination of a few things. Like, uh, I'm just going to put us there until we can find some more information. 
Like, we had that Double Dragon Neon that's coming out. Eva wanted to play that, so we gave that a shot. And I'm doing the uh, GeoGuessr stuff. Why are we here? I don't want to be here. Go back in the road. Now that sign's gone. Um, anyway, Eva wanted to do that, so yeah, we'll, we'll do the two. We did two videos of that because we ran into a bug after the end of one stage, and I did not like that game. I know a lot of people love that game. It came out, Christ, five years ago, I think, and that really blew my mind because that felt like way closer to, like, it came out like three or four years ago, not, ooh, what's this say? Florence. I think there's a Florence in Florida. Nothing definitive yet. But, you know, that was just like other, con uh, other country road 209. Nope, not going to help. County road. So we did that. Okay, what's this say? Oh, God, now world best burger. Why does this feel like Tejas? It is Texas. Because that's a Texas sign right there. Give me the arrow keys. Farm Road 970. Okay, so I was wrong by state. But anyway, sorry again. I'm getting distracted by trying to answer the GeoGuessr question. But we did the... Ooh, 183. Double Dragon. Which I was, I was fine with. And then we had the Twitch stream stuff, which is me. We just started playing Hollow Knight this week. This is a very long route. Look for county roads, I guess. 970. And those go out Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So just those three things. Uh, two, oh, 209's right there. How close can we get? How far does this route go? We saw Augusta somewhere. This is a very long route. Anyway. So that was, it's, it, it was a lot of stuff, granted. And then we, uh, uh, Player Unknown's Battleground came out. And I was like, hey, let's, uh, do a quick little video of that. And then we pumped that out. That was another thing. We ended up putting out three things in one day, and that was kind of a, that's kind of bad. I felt like I was flooding it a little bit. But in the future, I feel the uh, is this I just still this is a long friggin' route. I got thirty seconds. I do not feel as confident as I once was here. My God, this goes forever. I saw it. that feels like it could be there. So uh, again, as we go along here, this is definitely learning process. And I think maybe in the future, I'm definitely going to maybe not dump out so much as we did this time. There is a 209. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's one of the most accurate ones we've gotten so far. That's good. I'm going to give that five stars. So I just felt like getting that player unknown out the day it came out just for some dumb reason. And yeah, looking back at it now, we put, ended up putting three videos out on Thursday of last week. God, goose. That's like a thing that Andrew Dice Clay would say. I feel like this is... Yep, dot .br. This almost feels like a border crossing of some sort. I'm going to put it there for now. Two Brazils in this one. This feels... It's not a border crossing. That's just a really fancy... Uh, little ladder thing here. Well, I'm going to click around see if I can't find a road route. I'm going backwards on this road just so we can... Oop, here we go. It says Hotel something. Hotel California. It's Economic Hotel. You just live in a giant concrete building here. Comforto Pelo Mendo Preco. Don't call me a prick. So... What else we did? We got the those those videos gonna be a little bit smarter about that in the future again. I don't know if I'm gonna rush anything out again like we did that time with Player Unknown's Battlegrounds because it friggin' everybody and their brothers doing that game. I mean when I played it back in the beta, I beat it in my second game. I felt like yeah, I'm cool. I've done everything I need to do in this game. But that's a whole other tangent that I don't really care about, and you probably don't either, so now, as far as GeoGuessr goes, I do love doing this, and I do appreciate all the support we get for this series. Um, in the future, I'm sure Evo and I are going to want to do 
uh, challenge videos against ourselves again. We do have an extra mic coming up within the next week or two. Ideally, I don't know, it depends. Never want to assume anything as far as Christmas goes, but... Again, I'm going to put us kind of along the coast here, like there. Watch it be over here. But, um, I'm kind of up in the air as far as how I want to, uh... Do I want to keep this as a solo thing? I kind of want to try against other channels, but... Kind of don't know how it go about that. I don't know if you guys who watch this care about that either. Uh, ooh, we do have some... This is going to be... I don't think any of these are going to be, uh... Showing up on the... This far out, because this is a very large... Large... Ooh, wait, nope. That's a different thing. Gurupi. Just look for Guru... I've got a minute 20 left. I'm going to look for a Gurupi. What's up, Bellum? Nope. Makapa. But, um... Should I keep doing... I'm open for suggestions to you guys like me just doing it the way I'm doing it now. Do you want me to try to... Challenge some other channels? If you have any suggestions who you want me to go against? Or would you just rather keep me doing it? The solo thing here. I'm... Totally open for suggestions. Nope, that's not that. Because I do love GeoGuessr. It's helping me flex that ge geography muscle I've had pretty dormant for a number of years here. Oh, wait. Nope. If I've gone past this, and it, um, we'll zoom in a bit more. This is going to get very hard to find at this point. Because I do watch some people uh, play this on YouTube myself just to see how well I would do against what they would get for draws. And sometimes, no, I don't do much better than them. But this is a good, it's a good meditation for myself as far as uh, I'm going to leave it where it is. I'm going to make guess now. Yeah, I'm fine with this too again. Do I see any of those? Maybe a Palmas, I don't know. We'll just do three stars for that. That's fine. So yeah, if you have any... Uh, okay, this feels Polish to me. I think it's either Polish or it's... Uh, another Eastern European country here. Any of thing, every, Anything in here. Czech star. Oh, it's Czechs. Ha ha ha. But yeah, just let me know in the comments below. If you want me to keep doing it this way, I'm totally fine with that too. I'm, I'm doing this as much for me as I am for you. Now, I don't think there's any other housekeeping stuff here in mind. Um, so let's kind of stare at the eastern block of Europe. Try to find some more lettering. Um, what's this say? Grudna? Grudna. I'm going to hit home and try the other way, because this kind of feels like we're getting at, well, all of this is just kind of... Wagel. Nothing on here that's really... Salip? That's almost like a thing I've had. I've been to... Where is you? Little tiny country here. Macedonia. They have something there called Salip. It's, uh... How do I describe it? It's like a, uh... Kind of a powder you put into uh, water, I believe. It's been a while since I've had it. I mean, the consistency, you can kind of do the imagery of yourself of the consistency of it, of a thick, white, viscous liquid you drink. You put some cinnamon in it. It's really good. But it kind of looks like you're chugging the frosting of a Cinnabon. I don't know what you thought I was thinking. But oh, come on, this is this is a family show. We only allow swearing here. No talk of sex. Anything here? This has got to be Polish. So, as far as... Where exactly, I couldn't tell you. And I know another little language tip I can tell you for... I don't know if they're going to have it on here. Polish lettering. There is a um, L that has a little slash in it that the kind you would see in the uh, 
the Orthodox Christian cross where it's got the normal cross, but it has that little like dash through it. You see those on L's? It's kind of a W, like a Wutz. Like you'd see L U T Z. I believe that's, I, yeah, right here. This is Lutz. It's kind of a W instead. That's all I can remember about Polish. Um, Polish language. The history. I know that there, I don't know if, if it's the national anthem, but there is a very famous th uh, thong. I got I, my mind stuck on that Salep thing. S A L E P. Look it up. It's not bad. But there's a very famous Polish song, again, I don't know if it's National Anthem, it's played by a trumpet that either the history of it goes or the lore of it is. There was a trumpeter that was in the tower of, I believe it was a castle at the time. I think we're outside the town of whatever uh, Grudna is. And in the middle of him sounding this, it, it was a trumpet of alarm, I believe, because they were being, they were about to be invaded or attacked. And in the middle of him actually playing the song, an arrow struck him in the throat, and the song stops, like, in the middle of a note. And that is now how the song is played whenever you hear it. I do believe they did um, successfully hold off the defense. I mean, it's been a very long time since I took that class, and that was we listened to it, and it's a very haunting song when you do hear it. Uh, oh, yeah, it's like Gruden and Donuts right there. 4,000. I do believe we just might be short. Oh. It's these two Brazilian ones, especially this one here. I don't know if I can be mad at this. I mean, I can definitely try to be mad at this. I'm a, I'm a grown man. I can do whatever I want. But Christmas came up short this year. Just by 287 points. But I'm not mad. It's Christmas. Can't be mad during this time. Hanging out with the family if the weather has allowed me to. It's I know in a couple a video or two ago I talked about snow being perfectly fine, but we're getting a lot of snow and some rain and stuff. It's kind of nasty, but I asked for this, so I got to deal with it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed your Christmas if you celebrated it. If you didn't, thanks for hanging out anyway. Thanks for your time. Again, if you have any suggestions or ideas or comments about the future of this, I'm going to keep doing it. It's just whether or not I do it by myself or maybe try asking some other channels. It's totally up to you guys if you have any input. I'd love to hear it. But for Evo and I, thank you for watching. If you would be so kind, like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Um, and we will. I'm getting a little better at closing these things out. So we'll come back on Wednesday. See if we can't try to get over that 2,000 score, 20,000 score. See you then.